Um, well, Antonioni is big for me. And stylistically, I started getting into this when I was first a still photographer and liked Helmut Newton. <laughs> and I don't know why, but they were cut from the same elk. And it just was stylish. Because it was one of the time, more than narratively, I was into stylistic photography. And these were the movies that I would, they were a huge influence to me. They were graphic, industrial. I don't know what else to say about that. This Charles Lawton, great movie, scary movie. And I was surprised that he was able to pull this off. A movie called Yee Yee that you have, uh, that um, Edward Yang did, who did a, was a movie about so much and yet about so little at the same time. Like, after watching it for two hours, three hours, um, I, uh, it was a movie about nothing and a movie about everything. And when I finished watching that movie, first thing I did was call home and tell everybody that I love that I love them. One of my favorite directors of all time is Kieslowski. And uh, Blue, White, and Red are amazing trilogy. I love. One of my favorite movies is that it has a perfect opening where the family drives around the periphery. I think it's called Blue. And um, they're going to their house in the country. The father is a composer. And uh, the child, they're, they're driving all night. And the child, um, there's no dialogue really. Uh, in the beginning where you see the child uh, ask the mother to pull over so they could, she could use the restroom. So the car pulls over, you see the bottom of the car from the driver's side of the car and the little girl's feet runs out and she sits in the grass and, and goes to the bathroom. In the foreground, the rack is focused to the hose, the brake hose, and you see the uh, brake liquid leaking, so you know something's going to happen. The car drives, and there's a little boy uh, playing a, a, one of those games where the ball bounces into a cup, and he seems to not be able to catch it. And you hear the car um, screeching like it's going too fast down this country road, and um, you see a dog running. You see the boy uh, running after the dog. You hear an accident. The boy actually finally catches the ball. And you cut to a car against a tree with just a wheel spinning. And so much was told without any dialogue. I thought it was perfect setup for a movie. You know, it was very powerful. And, and uh, it kind of blew my mind about making a movie. It was the power of movie. Very powerful opening movie and that changed my whole um, way of trying to tell stories. Uh, unfortunately, I'm a cinematographer. My contribution is in all ways narrative, but when I can, I think about that Kislowski movie and, and how they set that story up.